In this video, I'll show you how to add alerts to OBS. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Firstly, you need to go and open up OBS and then go to the scene which you want to go and add the alerts to. So in this case, I want to go and add them to this scene here. Then what we need to do is actually go and open up our browser. So to do that, go and tap uh, into a browser. I like to use Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you'd like and then go to a search engine. And the website you need to go to is called Streamlabs. You spell that S-T-R-E-A-M-L-A-B-S, just like so. Go to that website, then make sure you go to your official website, which is streamlabs.com. Now Streamlabs has got so many different features. So what we need to do is go to the top right and go and tap login like so. And then what you need to do is go and log in or sign up to Streamlabs if you haven't already got an account to press sign up if you don't already have one. And then you can go and create a Streamlabs ID. Just gone and created my account and I'm going to go and let me explore on my own like this. And for now, you don't need to go and get Streamlabs desktop. But what you do need to do is go and connect your channels to Streamlabs. You need to go and connect them because then when you go and get a notification, it's going to be alerted on Streamlabs. And I'll show you how we can go and link Streamlabs to OBS. It's all going to make sense. Just keep watching. So in this case, we're going to use Twitch, but you can go and use YouTube or any other platform as well. And when you press connect, you then just need to go uh, and log into Twitch just like so. And then what you'll need to do is go and authorize Streamlabs for access to your account. So if you trust them, go and press authorize just like so. And here we are. And then you'll be taken back to the Streamlabs dashboard just like this. And you can go and connect more if you like. But for me, I'm just going to go and connect more later. And you need to do things like setting up your tipping. Now, here we are on the Streamlabs dashboard. And what you need to do is go over to the left inside and under essentials you're going to have this option here for alert box go and tap here and now we can go and configure it just close this off because i'm going to show you everything you need to know then once from the alert box page all you need to do is scroll down and make sure general settings is selected so these are going to be the general settings for the alert box so there's quite a few things you can look at here honestly most of this is going to be personal preference so you've got things like the background color that doesn't really matter alert delay the layout as well so the layout is how the alert is going to look so it depends what you want it to be personally i like this one here and that's sort of the main stuff as well and at the bottom you've got the profanity filters as well but what we need to do is basically customize for each different alert. So you can have follow alerts, subscription alerts, donation alerts, all of these need to be customized. So come to the right of general settings and tap on follows. And firstly, we need to go uh, and customize the follow alert. So what you can do is go and choose if you want it to be enabled at all. I recommend being enabled if you're a new streamer. And then what you can do is choose the layout of the alert and then the animation and then what it actually says. So in this case, it's gonna say name is now following, but you could also go and say like name has now joined us or something like that. And then you can also go and choose a text animation and then you can go and choose the image and the sound as well. So actually Streamlabs have their own, but you can also go and upload your own as well. So we go over to the right hand side, we can then go and tap on this sort of icon here, the select image icon. And there's actually quite a few stock ones. And as I said, you can also go and upload them before. So I could go and um, say upload the bird one and then press select just like so. And it's then going to be that it will take a moment to update. And you can also go and change the sound as well and you can go and preview it and you can also go and choose the sound volume uh, and a few other settings as well as well as font settings and variations and future me just coming in here make sure you go and click on the save button right at the bottom of this page here as otherwise the changes aren't going to be saved and then as i said before you can then go and repeat this for subscriptions donations and all of the others as well but honestly it's pretty similar to the follow one i now want to show you how you to add it to the obs so what we need to do is go and grab this widget url so go over over to the right hand side and go and press copy like so and then as you can see it says do not share this with anyone or the public so i'm not going to show it with you guys but i'm going to go and copy it then what you need to do is head back to obs so i'm going to go and minimize this for now and then come to your sources for the scene you want to go and add it to tap on the plus button then go and tap on browser which is just here and press ok and then all you need to do is go and paste that url in here so go and delete what's currently in there and then you can go and press ctrl v and go and paste it in then go and tap ok and that's it guys as you can see here it is you can now go and see the outline of it so the alerts are going to appear in here if you want to make it bigger you can make it bigger um, and yeah i want it to be quite small about that size like so now if i head back to my browser we can actually go and do a test so all you need to do is go and press on test follow like this and then as you can see we then go and get this alert and the sound appear in our obs and that's exactly what it looks like and so with all those settings here you could then go and change what it looks like and how long it is and things like that and so when you get an actual alert it's going to appear in there as well these are just test alerts